Malika, nighttime falling across the Oklahoma Plains as we get ready to run one between a couple of teams that hooked up in the first round of the playoffs a season ago. The Pelicans and the Thunder. The Thunder put the broom to the Pelicans in four games as the Pelicans try to reach a measure of redemption here tonight during the regular season. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Courtside, presented by DoorDash. It's not going to be easy to get that redemption with Shea Gilgis Alexander, one of the top scorers in the NBA. Folks, he's looking fresher than Febreze tonight. Got that Morpheus from Matrix look, ready to go to work against his opponent tonight. Her on some very efficient shooting from the field. But a little bit of good news for New Orleans. Trey Murphy is back for his second consecutive game of the season. The sniper already has the thunder in his crosshairs. We'll be back with the opening tip. We'll have courtside on the other side of this break. NBA Courtside on ESPN is presented by Dash Pass. Your door to all. Thunder will roll in, but a sudden crash will test their strength. Holmgren is down. Chad, such a key player for this team. Shea Gilgis Alexander still leads OKC. And wherever they go, they go together. How long can you hold this down till your big fellas get healthy? Hey, however long we need to. And that's Shea, a career high 45. The Pelicans have been weathering a storm all season. I feel like the guys are trying. Yeah, we got guys out, but you know, nobody's going to feel sorry for us. They'll need Brandon Ingram to lead them as they try to stay afloat in a stacked West. It's the Pelicans and Thunder now. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm. From Oklahoma City, the Thunder taking on the Pelicans tonight. Seventh home game of the season for the Thunder here at Paycom Center. The one thing you can't say about this team is that they are all hat, no cattle. They got the goods, folks, and ready to go tonight as we take a look at tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Royal Caribbean. Absorb this. There have been nine different starting lineups for the Pelicans this year. This is the latest one. Boston Green, Murphy back for his second game. Ingram, their former All-Star, and Misi, the rookie out of Baylor. SGA, Isaiah Joe, Dort, Kaysen Wallace getting the start, and Jalen Williams, who's averaging just under 20 per game for OKC. And he drew the assignment of taking on Ivica Zubats at the five in the game a couple of nights ago, their win against the Clippers. Mark Bittenau going to call the timeout for OKC. He doesn't like what he sees early. Misi, a force in the paint so far. Could be a problem. He absolutely has. Developing, however, J-Dub just roaming down the floor. <laughs> the easy pull up a three. The NBA on ESPN is presented all season. A week ago, Zion Williamson went to the locker room for a short period of time during the Cleveland Cavs game. He was cleared to return, play 20 minutes in the second half. The next day, Williamson was pulled from practice due to discomfort in his left hamstring. He's hit double figures in every game now so far. Still got a great look for Wiggins. But it's been about SGA. They asked him, how long can he carry this team without Chet? He made it simple and plain, as long as I have to. With 9-12 to go in the opening half, the Thunder lead it by six. We're going to pay a few bills and come back after this. Oklahoma City, a look at the Emirates NBA Cup and some of the outline, the Rules, three groups, five teams per conference. Knockout rounds, December 10th and 11th. Semis the 14th, the championship game on the 17th. Games count towards the season record, except for the championship. And a coach's challenge by the Thunder. Don't forget, coming up in our doubleheader on ESPN, going out to Los Angeles. LeBron and the Lakers hosting the Grizzlies. LeBron continues to pile up those numbers. Him to end the first half of play with the Thunder leading 54 to 50. But Williams 
with a prolific first half. He has 15. Gildas Alexander right behind him with 13. Hey, coming up on the halftime, presented by Hyundai, SGA fills it up on the stat sheet. Lots of new scores and analysis on the halftime presented by Hyundai. Malika, Shanae, Richard, and Perk in the studio coming up in just a second. Welcome back, everyone, to NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm here from Oklahoma City. As we take a look at our first half stats brought to you by New Balance. Team shooting relatively the same from the field. The second half chance points, huge edge to the Pelicans. And man, it's a theme for the Thunder. They will turn you over and convert those into points. When the defense turns it into a great look for him, he's able to line it up, yep. knock it down. Yeshay and J Dub leisurely chat. <laughs> I think they talk about over there. He's Joe. committed to that three ball. <laughs> James Capers calls timeout OKC. First one to the floor usually gets it. Back after this. Tonight, the NBA, Emirates NBA Cup begins Friday night with a group stage doubleheader. The Lakers taking on the Spurs at 7.30 Eastern, then the Warriors host the Grizzlies. NBA countdown tips off our coverage at 7 Eastern time. Yeah, Steph sang the Mavericks a lullaby last night in Emirates NBA Cup action in San Francisco. Thumbs off, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter play. Shea Gildas Alexander with 26 points. Get a lot of help from his friends, too. Jalen Williams with 22 when we come back. Down in the game for the wow. Pelicans, but can they turn it into points? That's going to be the biggest challenge right now, especially trailing 15 with only 6.56 remain. The NBA on ESPN is presented all season long by State Farm. Like a good day, our NBA doubleheader on ESPN. The Bulls taking on the Bucks at 7.30 Eastern. Then the Suns host the New York Knicks. The countdown crew tips off coverage at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Corey, I got a great look at the Phoenix Suns a couple of days ago against the Sacramento Kings. And boy, even without Kevin Durant, they are extremely competitive. Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and timeout as the Pelicans right now are leaking oil. This has been the recipe for the Thunder, turning defense into offense, another turnover, turns into another highlight. J-Dub enjoying himself Fast. for MVP. And the reason being is he's not just a scorer. He is a two-way player. At 6'6", your point guard protecting the rim. And then turning it into points on the other end of the floor, SGA. We're going to start to hear MVP. <laughs> Checkmate. OKC defeats New Orleans, 106 to 88. Jay Will with a season high 31. SGA with 29. And he did it at the defensive end as well with a ton of deflections, steals, and conversions on the fast break. The final score is 106 to 88 for Corey Alexander, Katie George, and our talented and talented crew behind the camera. You don't get a chance to see. I'm Mark Jones. Thanks for watching. So long from Oklahoma City. Now.